issue oriented innovation talk show thanks for staying with us policy reforms that's what we're discussing tonight and we start off uh, uh, by taking a couple of uh, reports uh, let me just quickly say that this segment, of course, the phone lines will be open. Uh, we'll start off with this report from Oka. Mr. President's policy reforms anchored on his Renewed Hope agenda has three core mandates of growing the economy of the country, lifting over one million people out of poverty and creation of enabling environment for the growth of other critical sectors. In the area of transportation, fuel subsidy removal, and the issue of local government autonomy, among other reforms, the people of Anambra State speak. The compressed natural gas initiative of Mr. President. This initiative, you know, uh, seeks to reduce our over reliance on fuel consumption. It's a way of trying to ensure that things work better for us. What the, uh, Mr. President is doing at the moment is to ensure that the local government becomes functional. I commend him for all the reforms. He has tried to reach the commoners through the state governors. And most times those things they give to the state governors never get to the grassroots. So this time around we are hoping that uh, the reason why the president created uh, this uh, citizens' assembly across the six geopolitical zones, it will be impactful on our people if those in charge will really do all that is anticipated of them. On social intervention programs, acknowledging that the present administration has also done so much in the area of humanitarianism and poverty alleviation through upward review of the minimum wage, commitment to conditional cash transfer, grants, and loans to assist small and medium enterprises and the recent introduction of Nigeria Education Loan Fund. I've gone to those uh, agricultural banks, but I couldn't access a loan. Those people that, that are managing the fund, they need to be checkmated, they need to be investigated. Someone like me that has a farm, it's just money to, to start the, the farm to start working. Even um, um, working capital. I couldn't get from them. I thank Mr. President Bola Tinibu for initiating the loan and it will help all students. Considering the challenges, the financial challenges that some families are having, this is um, an avenue for students to apply for the loan and won't have any excuse for dropout. Recalling the popular saying, no pain, no gain, the analysts who equally acknowledge that things have not been so rosy express the hope that going by the antecedents of President Bola Tinubu, Nigeria in no distant time will turn out to be better. In Oka, Chinyere Fesi Okoye. Alright, from Oka, we go on to Port Harcourt. Beside the 